What is good friends over here with Mogon Snake Draft Finals, we got BTB versus ABR, looking at the teams, I think that's a Spadev trend, uh, otherwise this type of Lilith matchup is pretty trash, Mowat's Spadev is, yeah, it's just bad, so it cannot switch into um, type of Lilith, especially if it's Specs Psychic, and looking at the rest of the team, it's either Scarf Kelly or Scarf Ladi, but I'm thinking Scarf Kelly makes a bit more sense, and then Z move on Ladi, because Z move on Ladi helps it um, to it KO um, Choice Banner Tyranitar on the switch, um, I'm not sure if Z Draco and the Draco would actually 2 it KO Banta, but I'm pretty sure Z Surf and 2 Surf does 2 it KO. And yeah, the Among Us is gonna be split death to check stuff like Greninja. I'll uh, check stuff like Tapu Coco for this team. It doesn't necessarily have to be Spore because of uh, Coco being so common in OU, that means that you cannot put Granite Mons to sleep. And the Lando is probably gonna be defensive because of his, his Zygarde matchup, is, other, is otherwise pretty bad. Defensive Rocks Lando that. It doesn't have to be rocks, it could be rocks trend, but if the land is rocks, that gives trend an extra move slot. The more is either SD, 3 attacks, or 4 attacks. And looking at ABR's team, um, it could be Scarf Lando, um, either Rock Scarf Lando or Rocks Clef. This, the Tita, if it's banned, could be nice for ABR to pursue the Heatran, because otherwise Heatran destroys ABR's team. Uh, it traps Toxapex with Magma Storm and then opens up the game for Keldeo. Like literally, if he traps Toxapex with Heatran, Kaldeo is such a big threat to ABR, so I assume uh, ABR is just gonna get up the rocks. Uh, BTB's options here are Spore or Stun Spore. Um, yeah, those are the two options, Spore or Stun Spore. There's no point in clicking anything else here. Um, let's talk a bit more about ABR's team. I think that's Band Weaver. Like, I'm not sure if this is double Band. One of the two mods could also be Z-Move. I guess it could be Z-Move Weaver. Um, yeah, if this is SD Scizor, it could definitely be a threat. So it's rocks. I do still think it could be Scarf. Scarf rocks is not that uncommon on Lando and OU. And yeah, it doesn't have to be Scarf because he has a bulky backbone and double priority. But that's the only one that's potentially Scarf on ABR's team. And ABR can now switch into either Tita or Toxapex here. Um, if he's choice locked, he will just hard switch out. Or he might just hard switch out in general because he wants to keep health on this Lando. Actually, Among Us is so slow and might not even outspeed Lando with the T wave and half. But yeah, I do think that's a Scarf and he will most likely just hard switch out into Tita or Pex here. And if BTB pricks that, he can stun Spore again, right? Um, so he does go into Tita here, this is most likely... Um, okay, he misses, that's unfortunate. It's 75% accuracy here, it happens. Uh, whatchamacallit. The Tita can just fire off a Bandit Stone at if it's Bandit. And yeah, BTB is probably gonna go into Landorus. Uh, his other switching would be Keldeo, but Keldeo is just amazing in this game, so I don't think he's gonna go to Keldeo. Keldeo can pretty much just win with spamming Skull slash Hydro Pump after the Toxapex gets removed by Magma Storm from Heatran. And uh, it's, oh, it's Flamethrower, wow. So it's probably Flamethrower, Ice Beam, some bulky Tita, probably mixed with a minus speed nature, because you don't wanna lower your defenses or your attack stats. So it's probably mixed like Ice Beam, um, Flamethrower. Pursuit and then either Stone Edge Crunch or Earthquake in the last slot, something like that. So BTP is just going to U-turn out here. He doesn't want to. He wants to scout for Ice Beam, but B ABR is not going to stay in because he doesn't want to take the U-turn. He needs this Tyranitar healthy because if he loses his Tyranitar, Heatran is just going to destroy him. And yeah, he obviously doesn't want that. So he's going to switch into um, either his own Landorus or his Scissor here on the most likely a U-turn from BTP side. But yeah, if um, ABR can remove Heatran with Pursuit from Banta or weaken it, we don't know. No, it's obviously not Bennett. That was that was my um, that was my theory at first. If the Tita is Bennett, could remove the weaken the Heatran with Pursuit. But now we know it's not Bennett. Um, it's some sort of bulky Tita, either like Chopple, um, Shuka, or maybe Assault Vest. Assault Vest is going to be kind of big in Ultra Sun and Moon with the new ones that come out. So he goes in Heatran here. Uh, he's going to be able to just Magma Storm and. Maybe I can probably have to go into Tyranitar here because um, Toxapex does not beat Heatran because the Heatran runs Magma Storm, Taunt, Off Power, and it beats Pex. Even if it's Spadef, it still beats Pex one on one. Pex Skull does like laughable damage, and that Magma Storm, talking about laughable damage, did five percent. <laughs> so this is definitely a Solvest Tyranitar. But BTB is gonna switch out here. Uh, if ABI has Pursuit, he should definitely go for Pursuit here because yeah, BTB needs this trend. Trend is amazing. Like I said, if trend traps the packs. BTB's Kaldeo destroys ABR because um, Clefable doesn't run Spadef anymore so like Scalder Pump does a lot to that and everything else gets destroyed by Scalder Pump as well. So yeah, um, BTB is not staying in, he wants this trend and ABR should know that and go for Pursuit. 
Um, so BTB can either go to Kelly or Amoongus here. The thing is, Kelly is amazing in this matchup, so you might not want to let the Kelly get weakened. I mean, he knows the Titar is not banded. Even though the Amoongus is uh, most likely Spadev, it can probably still take a hit. But yeah, Heatran has to fear a Stone Age or Earthquake here, so he should never stay in. I already talked about it, right? So, he also doesn't want to go Landers because it's revealed Flamethrower, which means it's probably, like I said, Flamethrower, Ice Beam, and then two physical moves, either Pursuit Stone Age or... Pursuit Earthquake, Pursuit Crunch, all of those are options, but I'm thinking you should have Pursuit for sure to um, weaken stuff like Heatran, because like otherwise this team is so weak to Heatran. But yeah, he's either gonna go Amoongus or Keldeo. He doesn't wanna risk Lando, like I said, and... Yeah, yeah I, I get the Amoongus play, because you wanna keep your Keldeo healthy. You don't wanna let it take like a hit plus rocks. And now Tita is forced out here. Uh, because he obviously doesn't want to let this get stun sport. He doesn't want to, also doesn't want to take a Giga Drain. Even though he has Assault Vest and he would eat it up. He doesn't want to let this get stun sport. So he's either going to go to um, Toxapex or to his Landris. Because his Landris is already stun sport. So what BDB could do here is he could either just stun sport playing it safe. Or Giga Drain trying to get some chip. But he could also double switch out knowing that ABR is not going to stay in here. Um, so knowing that ABR is either going to go to Landris or Toxapex. Um, BDB could double into... Um, into either Landris or Ladi, that's those are two options. But Ladi is too risky, obviously, in case the Titar stays in. Uh, Landris would make more sense, as he does double into Landris, and Avia just went into Landris, um, knowing that Giga Rain wouldn't do too much and it cannot get stun spot. It already is stun spot, is what I'm trying to say. So, like, if, in case BTB stun spot again, it would be fine for Avia. Now, BTB can get up his rocks here if he has them on Lando. We don't know yet if he has them on Lando or on Heatran. Avia's. Either going to U-turn, put it in rocks, or I guess HPIs. Uh, he might also hard switch out. No, this turn is pretty obvious that BTB is just going to rocks. So B uh, ABR doesn't have to hard switch this turn, but next turn he might have to switch then. I'm not wanting to let this take a HPIs. So he's just U-turn out. So I'm thinking that this is rocks, U-turn, Earthquake, and maybe knockoff or Stone Edge. I guess it could be Scarf Stone Edge because his team is quite weak to Mega Pinsir. Um, I don't know if he doesn't have HP eyes or... Now HP eyes wouldn't have killed and he's paralyzed so I get why he U-turned even if he has HP eyes but he might also not have it. Um, so now he can go to his um, Scissor or his B... No, he doesn't want to go Weavile, he doesn't want to take rocks, right? He can go Scissor or uh, Clef, I guess. I mean, yeah, Weavile is an option but Weavile takes rocks. And if BDB is intimidated on his Mawile, that might be able to switch into Weavile. Um, he most likely... Yeah, I don't think he would want to switch into Kelly on Weavile though, because like I said, Kelly can win after Pex gets uh, Magma Stone trapped. I, I would probably go Scizor if I maybe are. Because Clef that works. Yeah, Clef or Scizor. Like, I don't know his Clefable set. But yeah, BDB is most likely going to U-turn out here. Yeah, into Amoongus. That does... A lot. Why did that do so much? That has to be, um... That has to be either Spadef or Offensive Clefable. Yeah, I'm thinking the Moonblast also did a little bit more than I expected. So this is probably Offensive Clefable. I don't know if it's Sash or Life Orb, but it's some sort of Offensive Clef. Probably Max Speed, Max Special Attack. Because the attitude turned at freaking 13% from a Defensive Lando. Like, it was Lefties, uh, definitely Defensive Lando. Uh, but yeah, ABR is gonna switch here into Pex or Lando again. Oh, and Tita, okay. Okay. I mean, I didn't think he would let this get stun sport because... I think BTB uh, pretty much has this game now, because... Hedron is just such a problem, and like I said, after Hedron removes the Pex... I, I am repeating myself, and it was Pursuit, because he tried to Pursuit the Among Us. You could tell the Among Us is being withdrawn. It, it says that when you get Pursuited, but then he got paralyzed. <laughs> So he went Lando there, uh, expecting Crunch or something like that. Uh, BTB can just U-turn here. Uh, ABR goes in the packs, okay. He Earthquakes, nice play by BTB that covered the packs. Um, it also covered Teeter staying in, I guess. And it would've, yeah, that was a nice play, I guess. It catches the it talks the packs. I still would've U-turned there. Uh, so he's Baneful Bunker. Um, this packs is, I think, a bit fist, more fist death orientated. It only took 67 from Earthquake. Yeah, that, that actually, that I, I would not have made that play. I would have U-turned there. Uh, props to BTB for earthquaking there, covering the packs on the potential U-turn. 
So yeah, ABI goes down to Landris. Uh, HP, I think that would have already been an amazing play. I mean, it was pretty obvious that ABI wasn't going to sack his packs. He wants to switch out in regen. But I understand why he just earthquake there. Um, now, he's going to HP I here most likely. So ABI can either switch into his Scizor or his Toxapex. The reason why you would go Toxapex is here um, on the HP I You could um, then potentially lift the next earthquake because of the intimidate or if you don't love the earthquake you can still switch out and get more regenerator back so like either scissor or toxapex is gonna come out here um, I would u-turn here if I'm BTB it pretty much covers all options but just HP I think is fine I guess okay and um, now Pex might it might actually still kill might be a roll now he has, he has shown bait for bunkers so if he ban for bunkers he definitely lifts the next earthquake afterwards <laughs> So knowing that, BDB can switch, but he doesn't have to switch because if the Pex goes for Baneful Bunker, Landris also gets more leftovers recovery, and having a healthy land is definitely fine. But yeah, what I'm saying earlier, I was trying to say BDB probably has this game because the Tita is um, paralyzed, it actually eats that up. Wow, that's crazy. Pex is a stupid mon. No, but the Tita is paralyzed and it's getting chipped from rocks, and um, it's gonna die eventually, and his only other Pex, Magmas, uh, Trend, Magma Storm switch in. Did he just recover? Okay. The only other Magma Storm switching is the Pex that loses to Tren 1v1 with Torn and Earth Power. And after that is gone, Kalyu just destroys ABR. Like, I don't see ABR winning this. So the Heatron comes out here and he can just Magma Storm. He went for Bunkers first, obviously. Um, but if he stays in here, his Pex is going to be trapped and it's going to die. And then Kalyu is going to destroy ABR's team. Like, since the Clefable is offensive, even like Scald or Pump is going to even destroy the Clefable more. Like, like I said earlier, they run Fizz Death, so they get destroyed by um, spe special attacking moves anyways. But since he's offensive, he's, he takes even more than that. So yeah, this is, this is definitely over. He stayed in on the Magma Storm. Uh, I mean, if he went Tita there, to be fair, he would have taken Rock's Magma Storm plus after a recoil from Magma Storm. So he would have been super low as well. Like, I don't, to be fair, I don't think he really had an out. This is a tough matchup for ABR. Um, he tried to bend for Monkey. He's just gonna, um, okay, taunt into Elf Power. Like, now he's gonna Elf Power. And even if he been for, yeah, like even if the taunt was not there, like he been for bunker wouldn't do much because you still take more than leftovers heal you. And like Skull is doing nothing to Tren. <laughs> and next off is gonna kill and Tren is like still at 90 ish. And now BTB uh, ABR is gonna go into uh, okay we well. I guess he wants to go for Bandit knockoff here. Like I wasn't sure if he was gonna go we well or the other option I had in mind was Tita. Because his land was paralyzed, so that going Lando doesn't gain him much. Um, yeah, BTB is probably gonna switch because Heatron is still fire in this matchup. He goes in the Landers here, expecting a knockoff, I assume. He also doesn't lead his Landers to win this game, so it's understandable why he went to it. Like, he doesn't need it anymore. Like, Pax is already. Yeah. Like, the opposing Lando is paralyzed, and the Pax is dead. Whatchamacallit. Yeah, Yudem was completely fine there, but if. Like, Weaver wasn't staying in. Um, I do think that it's Bandit damage. I think it was a low roll. I'm not 100% sure, but it, it seems to be Bandit. So, yeah, now this is what I talked about. After Pex gets removed, Kalyu destroys ABR. Uh, Skull just claims a kill here. Um, I guess AV Tita is super fat and might lift two Skulls, but AV Tita doesn't do anything back to Kalyu. So, yeah, he's gonna have to sack something here. Um. Either Land or Tita are gonna be sacked off. Actually, I actually think that this takes two scores because of the Sandstorm and Spadev boost and the Assault Visp. That did nothing! I mean, he can just Scald again. Tita doesn't get knockoff, thankfully, so he cannot get... I mean, even if he knocks off the Scarf, it doesn't matter. Even if Tita would get knockoff, like, in theory. Like, this game is over, right? He's just gonna, like, I guess... Okay, Pursuit. So, does he... Not have, like, a strong... Oh, no, you should Crunch earlier. So yeah, TJ just dies here, and I guess, what is he gonna do now? He just loses to this. I don't remember how healthy Clefable is, maybe Clefable is out of range. But Weeble dies after rocks. Okay, Clefable doesn't die, Clefable is still healthy. I thought it was at 50-ish, it was healthier. Yeah, yeah it only came in on, and took a U-turn from Landris, I forgot. So yeah, BTB is gonna switch here into either Heatron or Amoongus. What is this Clefable set, by the way? Moonblast, Flamethrower, Softbolt, Ice Beam, or would it be 4 attacks and not even that? It could, not, it could be 4 attacks. It could be 3 attacks T-Wave. It could also be a Berry Berry Counter, Clefable, or something like that. It could be Sash Counter, I don't know. Or it, is, it has Softbolt, okay. 
So softball, Moonblast, Flamethrower, Ice Beam maybe, T-Bolt for Celesteela is another option. Now if you have Flamethrower you don't need T-Bolt anymore. So BDB can just Earthquake because this is offensive Clefable. It took 58 from a freaking Earthquake from la defensive land though, that should not do that much. That's definitely like, I don't think this has any HP, I think it's just max special attack, max speed. And yeah, now Scald from Kaldio just kills because he's low. Um, I think Kaldio just wins from now, yeah. Like I said, Kelly destroys him after Pex gets trapped, but he still had to like bring Clefable in range from Water Move to ensure that. But I'm pretty sure Scald also kills. He doesn't even have to risk Hydro Pump because of the Clefable just not having any bulk investment. <laughs> I think the Smog this jet just uh, was that soft sand. It's, no, no, it has left this exactly like TD Kester. It's, it's offensive land. It's just offensive Clefable. Maybe yeah, I'm probably prepping for... Yeah, I think this would have had a good matchup against the teams that BTB usually uses. Okay, goes Lari. I thought he would just go Keldeo. Uh, so you can just go for Psychic or his... I guess he could also go for Z-Move. Man, now I feel bad. I thought he would just go Keldeo. I mean, am I missing something? Keldeo's Skull would have killed, right? Didn't Keldeo's Skull kill? I mean, this is fine as well, obviously. I guess he can show off your Z-Move. That's kind of cool for the viewers. Uh, okay, Hydro Vortex. That is exactly... I talked about that earlier, right? It's... um. You do it, KO Tita, Bantar. So you don't get pursued. It. So he sacks the Landris. Now he's gonna go Weewell here. Weewell or Scizor. But the thing is, um, if he with Weewell, if he locks himself into knockoff, Mega Mobile gets a kill. I mean, it doesn't matter. This, this game is won for BTB. Okay, so the score in the series, um, I'm, I don't know if I wanna say the score because. Um, I might not have uploaded some of the other games yet. Like I've already recorded a lot of the smoke um, of the finals game from Snake, but since my man BTB is probably gonna um, want want to see his game before the other games, like he's gonna be hyped for me to upload his game. I'm probably gonna upload his before some of the other games. Also, my man Ultra Waltz is gonna be helping me out with the. You guys know that he's gonna be helping me out with the lower tier games. So he just knocks off. Uh, Pursuit wouldn't have killed if Vladi stays in, so it makes sense. Uh, especially because it's uh, yeah okay never mind yeah I was about to say knockoff is weakened because of Ladi having Z move but it obviously still kills yeah it doesn't have to do anything with pursuit so yeah, now either Morwile or Kel you can come out Skull should kill from 51 right I think Kel you like I already thought that earlier that Kel you just clicks Skull a few times and wins but then he went into Ladi and the hit first I don't know if he wanted to show off his Z move or if uh, or if Skull was a roll on Clefable maybe Skull could have been a roll and not killed the Clef. I kind of doubt it because the clef is offensive, but maybe I'm overestimating Kalio. So Mobile can just click uh, player off here, I guess. Or yeah, Flare is fine. I was thinking about Fire Fang, but there's no reason to do that. Okay, he SDs up, that works. So he's SD player off Sucker Punch, and then either Thunder Punch, Knock Off, or Fire Fang in the last slot. Um, yeah, the game been over. So maybe sex is we will to the, the knockoff. Yeah, knockoff is <laughs> that's crazy seeing we will die to a dark move. Nice nice and plus to Mega Mawile. Uh, so the Clefable is most likely faster than the Mawile. And it's gonna be able to um yeah exactly kill the Mawile with a flamethrower. And now this is what I'm talking about the entire time. Scald should kill, right? So just go to Kelly and win, please. Man, I just feel bad because I wanted to win Kelly like a few turns ago already. But yeah, um BTB is gonna be super hyped. I know that he was uh I don't, I don't know, but I don't know what the right word for this is. Should I say respect? He was, like, he was kind of fearing ABR. Like he didn't really know how to prep for the ABR. I talked to him a little bit. Obviously, his teammates um, or his manager Poig, I think, helped him to prep. I don't know. I don't really know the background things. But uh, like, I was sure that BTB was able to, like, definitely could have beaten ABR. But to be fair, like. He just had a really, like, decent matchup. So you can say he just prepped well. Hmm. I, like, I don't know if he... Yeah, I think he built his team himself. Maybe people helped him. Like I don't think he gets his team from other people. Most of the time he builds himself. So he's just gonna... Scald. And like ABI has to hope that he doesn't get burned with Scizor. And... Oh, never mind. It's just 2 it chaos. Okay, I yeah, thought so the game is over. Um, yeah, okay, that's Scizor is not Mega Evolved yet. That's why it doesn't have the best bulk. It also rocks were up. That's definitely just Scarf Scald damage, I would assume. Yeah. Lari was Zemo, this has to be Scarf Kaldio. And yeah, he scalds one more time the Scizor and one more time the Clef Hyrule and the game ends. So yeah, amazing to see BTB win. Um, yeah, because I know him personally, so it's like even cooler for me than like someone else I'm rooting for. Like some sometimes you root for 
player because you like his playstyle. But if you like know the person like from like your own chat and you call with them before, it's kind of cooler, right? So congrats to you, BGB, if you watch a uh, cool game. And yeah, pretty much ABR's team is under pressure now. They have to win um, the next upcoming game, otherwise they are out. But I don't want to talk too much about that because I'm going to be uploading all the other games as well. So you can expect um, two other OU games that are going to be coming from myself. I'm not sure if they are up before this or after this. And there's also going to be UU, uh, RU. Actually, RU is already up. There's going to be UU, NU, LC. It's going to be coming from commentated by my man Ultra Ball. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. And peace out, friends. Hope you enjoyed. I will leave a juicy thumbs up. I put like a lot of effort in these videos. Like, I try to. I work on my narration. Like, you guys can probably tell the difference in my narration used to not be the best and like now I'm trying to sometimes it doesn't always I, like it doesn't always work but I try to like predict the plays before they happen sometimes it doesn't like yeah you guys get what I'm trying to say right I already said that in the smoke this video but not everyone might have said that seen that video so yeah peace out have a fantastic day and goodbye